Well then, let's go in here. And since it is a large part underwater, we're gonna split it in two. I mean with that that I'm gonna record half the time each time and glue them together. As I've noticed with the drill dozer that's played that if you are underwater for a long time, it adds to the file size a lot. Because of the moving backgrounds and stuff. No biggie though. So for me it's a bit annoying, but for you guys it will be one video. Just two smaller videos glued together. Um so then. Oh, this reminds me of the Ninja Turtle games for the NES. For some reason. That takes us back to the surface. Ah oh, dang it. No stupid oh check up here. Ah stop that. Oh no don't don't get hit firebrand. That just spikes. And it's a ooh, it's another life sphere or energy sphere, energy ball, whatever you call it. Oh shit. Hate those fish. Oh Another let's play with fish, evil fish. Oh man. Oh, don't do that. Not doing so well. Oh. <laughs> In fact, I'm sucking right now. Even though the underwater controls aren't that bad, but oh. the hitbox is a bit bigger than I than I think usually. That's what gets me. Die. And over here. No, 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 no. More over here. Yeah, it's this kind of background, this shimmering, that adds a lot to the file size. If anyone knows what I'm talking about, please explain to me why that takes up a lot of file size. I want to know. The same thing happened in Drill Dozer. I had to split an underwater recording in two parts because, yeah. It just got too big after the usual 15 minutes or so. Oh, dang. No. This ain't too bad. Oh, dang. I smell a bo- I smell a boss coming. Yep. It's a giant slug thing. And I'm gonna equip a... a King Sang in advance. No, no, you there. Don't eat me. I'm not edible. Ew, he's shooting around his... his... Uh, his... X fume gases. Oh no. Dang it. Get out of there. Go, oh, thanks. Yeah. And turn around in time. Oh, dang it. Two energy balls still. No, get out. Oh man. This is an annoying boss, actually. Ah. Can't turn around quickly enough. Fuck. Really annoying boss. Well, that's what you got the King Seng for, right? Oh, come on. He's almost dead now. Correction, he is dead. Ugh, took two King Seng, so we're gonna restock that first thing. So, what do you got for me? Oh, he kinda died. Another energy sphere, yay. Three more to get. Not bad. So then. First off, we're going back to the town.
and restock on our gangsang. I haven't found a new talisman in a while, I hope I haven't missed anything. Um, yeah, over here. Gang Sang time. And one more. Thank you, sir. Now would be a good time to find level 2 and 3 of that minigame. Because the level 3 minigame gives you uh, energy sphere, if I remember correctly, but you have to clear level 1 and 2 first to find it. Level 2 is on an island, a small island. And it was over here somewhere. I'll find it. There it is. No. It had forest on it. There it is. So, in the next video, we're gonna try this. But new video is the second part of this one actually, because like I said I'm gonna glue them together. So then, this is the level 2 and is a medium difficulty. Yep, we're gonna try this. You have to clear this to, to gain entrance to the level 3. Get ready, start. Sorry I burned you there. Oh, oh nice. Higher, there we go. Too high. Too high. There, slight delay there. And we cleared it. That's level 2. Now before we go to level 3, I noticed something re-watching or Rewatching, watching my older parts of this let's play so far, that I actually missed something. It's a good thing I watch my videos before uploading them, just to make sure that, that no, there's nothing out of sync and stuff and no errors. Because I went in the the second part of the city, and there's actually another part underwater over here that I did not explore with the tidal gargoyle. So we're gonna do that right now. I went in here for the potion, but you can actually go further. There's one more place where you can drop down into the water. That's over here. Anything here? There is something here. A talisman! The hand talisman! Yeah, it's a very good thing I check my videos. I might have missed that or spent hours searching for it. Uh, oh, oh, he can uh, jump. I was gonna. No, I was gonna go for that one. Okay, so then. We'll check the hand talisman in a bit and then go to the level 3 minigame. And once we clear that, we'll go to the next area, which is the... I think it's called the, the Ice Palace or something. Oh, go away, you... Oh, I thought I could over... I thought I could fly over that. Unhand me! Right. Um, grabby bastards. Okay. What is this hand talisman? Checking real quick. What does it do? Skull for life, crown for more money, hand for more hands? I don't know. It will enable you to use your magic more quickly. Well, since most magic sucks in this game, I'm not gonna use that ever. Back to the crown. So, well, maybe I I used the magic system wrong, but so as far as I know, it's garbage. Well, we're gonna tr give the imp spell another chance later. Maybe it's it's nice, but only if you keep it and don't switch into another item. The level three was 
near a lake. A small lake. Over here. That's it. This one is a pain. Really tough to beat. That's been a long time. Welcome. It's level 3 and it's somewhat hard. That's an understatement. Seriously. This is a pain to clear. I'd be a miracle if we can do it in the first 5 tries, to be quite honest. Yeah, yeah. Let's try it. Try number one. Uh. Oh, how did I miss? Ah, we didn't clear it. Well, no surprise. It's hard. No, no, no. We're gonna try again. Oh, I have to... Oh. Try again. Yeah, I'm gonna try again. Then I have to cut the video here. We have to do this for the best ending. Shit. Wow, that went very well! Only two tries! Fantastic! Special present for the true gambler like yourself. Thank you, good sir. Thank you indeed. Alright, next level, it's another... Next level. Next video, it's time for a new level, the Ice Palace.